All right, so this is how we will set up um, AWeber, the AWeber autoresponder series. So we sign in, put in your username and email. I'm using RoboForm, so I don't have to remember all the passwords. And once we are in, we have to make sure that we are in the correct list and I already created the list so here's a drop down and you can have as many lists as you need to have for different products for different services for your coaching for your speaking you can have different lists you always have to make sure you are in the correct list so this one is for sailing to retirement and if not then you can scroll down to the bottom and create a new list. Once you create it, it will automatically be here on the top. So let's see here. Create new list. List. Uh, company name. Click on next step. And then you name your list. Let's say um, Larry's speaking gigs. And then you need to describe here what it is. Um, get Larry Jacobson to make your next event a total success. And you can edit these. You can just click on edit. Oh, so this is a confirmation message. That's right. So we need to edit that. Uh, okay, approve message, create a list. And now we are in Larry speaking gigs. So let's go to Salient Retirement. And then we will go to messages. We just hover on messages. And click on campaign beta. Campaigns beta. And then here we create a campaign. And we'll call it sail into a retirement create and we want people to select to it to begin building your campaign so on subscribe it will be triggered that they will start getting the first message and then it's really simple once we are in here drag the send a message here create a message let's use the drug <laughs> drug <laughs> drag and drop email builder and once it comes up remember to add the subject line the first message will be probably welcome to sail into retirement right and then you paste your message in here if you want to add an image then I believe you cannot drag it in here. You just drag. You have here all of these cool stuff on the left. You can just drag them in here, whatever you need. For the image, you drag it in there so it goes under it. Yeah, it doesn't go in there. And click to edit. You can upload from your comp computer or add an image from the gallery. Now you have to be really careful not to add. A giant picture so even though it shows this big many of the pictures you have they are ginormous like one of them I have it's like 30,000 pixels or something like that even though it will show so small um, it will slow down your I don't know delivery or something so make sure that the images are the right size about 500 pixels, 5 to 600, that's fine, or even 400 pixels. If it's smaller than this, now just because you are reducing it with your mouse, here you can make it smaller. But just because you're reducing it here, it doesn't mean that the image gets smaller. The size remains the same. So, um, okay, so this one can only be left aligned, center, or right right 
and then if you want to continue adding text then you grab the paragraph thingy and drag it there and then you can just paste stuff in there or type stuff in there if you want to increase the font size highlight and then just same like in a word microsoft word editor you can change the font you can scroll to make it as big as you want interestingly enough in aweber a font 16 for example it's kind of where the normal size starts still looks a little bit small um, now if you want to align images to the left or right we use the article feature we drag the article little widget in here you can use this as a subheadline or as a headline or just delete it and then click on this you can upload an image or you can use one from there and this is a thumbnail so you see because it's so small it says here thumbnail so use the original uh, and it doesn't let me use the original for some reason on this one Oh, there you go and so the original you see this is the full size it uh, I can reduce it a real little bit if I want text on the side right so you can if you need to align images to put text near it then you would use the article feature here okay so this looks a little bit messy let's get out of here you can delete these here is the delete button right let's exit out of here and let's create a simple one so now this one is here right the first message is there now we want to wait to send uh, sending out a second message so we drag the wait here and on the right hand side we just hover on this one and we click it to show as many days as you want in between your emails email messages and then you drag in the next one and then you say create message drag and drop email builder and then here you just paste in your text so put in the subject line here subject line and leave this as is because it will it will uh, put in automatically your subscribers name and then highlight this and jump just paste in there your your text whatever text you want to paste in there and then you save and exit and if you need to add an image somewhere in between here then you would have to cut that piece cut delete the space in between add the image or if you want the image uh, wrapped with text then you would use this article one you add the image probably will upload your own I'm just keeping it simple now mo most of these from the gallery they are the right size so you can keep them as are so right we wanted to include an image in between in the middle of the text so i copied and cut out some text from there i drag the paragraph down here and then i paste the rest of the text there i suggest clicking in there control a or whatever your highlight all function is and then make the size at least 15 i would probably make it 16. Control A and then 16. There, save and exit. And then we drag in there the weight. And if you forget to drag in the weight, that's no problem. It can be done later. No problem. If you want to just focus on adding the messages, you can. And then add the next message in there. 
and if you want to if you want to number them so you don't get confused you can yeah have the subject line but have it like so this is number three and then add the subject line maybe later we'll we'll delete those numbers but i mean it shouldn't you shouldn't get confused you just keep adding to the list to the bottom of the list you can add video you can add a button uh, at this point shouldn't worry about any of that signature so this is interesting i wonder if well there you go so we should edit your signature in here and make it make it a good one but yeah at this point just paste in here all of the autoresponder messages that you want to go out save and exit so now it's here it, i just left it at three right and then wait three days and that's it you just keep adding messages down there so here you see that this is um, going out first and the second so it, it show you the, shows you the sequence here the first it will be tr triggered for all subscribers that they get this first message and then they will wait for three days and uh, so on so that's it there's no not much magic to it well once we create this then we will have so again now when, we, when you come in here when you come to your legacy follow-up series uh, sorry when you come to campaigns this is where you will find these messages then you will have to click on sale into retirement let's activate it okay so you come in sale into retirement here are your messages you can edit them you just click on them and you can edit them here okay again you just hover on anything that you want to delete and you click delete or you can double click and you can just edit it should be really simple now once we save and exit so the magic happens uh, later on when we create your sign up forms so don't worry about that it's just i'm showing you that that will link in there when you click create the sign up form then you will create it for well not right now it creates it automatically for this one so you will be able to choose a template except we don't want a template we will want a completely virgin one most likely well here it is this is what we want a virgin one we just do a, we just would uh, change the button but that links in with your autoresponder messages and then we get the code let's say we like this one let's see we'll just leave everything as is and then you must save the form go back oh there was a save button okay and then go to step two go to step three and here it is you just grab this code goes on your website and you will have the opt-in form there that's it and your autoresponder messages will go out now don't worry about any of this with the form at this point let's just go to campaigns and then let's add all of the messages into sale into retirement just keep adding so click on these just edit them or you can just delete them and start a brand new one you just drag this here and uh, you can start pasting in there the the autoresponder messages and that's it always remember to click on save and exit save and exit very important we can't update your active email with missing information you still need more time you can pause your campaign until everything is complete no new subscriber placed into your campaign while it is paused pause and exit okay so there we paused it because it's not completed but you can always go in there 
and keep adding messages. So well, this is incomplete because we didn't do anything with this one. So let, let me just delete this for now. Doesn't want to go away. There you go. All right, that's it. Save and exit. And let me know if you have any questions.